okay now i'm going for the next concept that is reduction reduction is a like is a vast concept because reduction mein hamare paas reagent bhi fix nahi hote hain if i'm talking about reagents we uh, use hydrogen in presence of catalyst that is catalytic hydrogenation then we use hydride jaise nabh4 or al li alh4 okay or we go for the metal uh, dissolving reagents uh, reagents for example like sodium in ammonia so there are different type of reagent so stereochemistry of the product kaun sa product form hoga it is completely depends on the type of reagent you are using the type of substrate you have and of course the reaction condition that we are using okay so now under this reduction concept i'm going to take different type of the reagents and then we will discuss yahan pe hame kya predict karna hai first of all let us understand when i'm talking about cyclohexanone इसका रिडक्शन करना है ठीक है हेक्सिनोन इज दिस ऑफ कोर्स वेन एवर आई टेक आई विल ट्राई टू ब्लॉक इट एट इट्स लोकेशन यूजिंग दिस टर्शरी ब्यूटाइल ग्रुप नाउ वेन इट इज गोइंग टू गेट रिड्यूस आई कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू प्रोडक्ट आई दर आई विल गेट दिस ओ एच एट एक्शन लोकेशन और आफ्टर रिडक्शन आई मे गेट ओ एच एट डी इक्वेटोरियल लोकेशन so there are two different possibilities are there and then as i said which product will be obtained in this case it is completely depends on the type of reagent i'm using the type of substrate i have and the reaction condition okay so let us talk about simple first case that is catalytic hydrogenation so when i'm talking about the catalytic hydrogenation again it, this is done in different condition so now we are talking about the catalytic hydrogenation let's say with platinum or nickel okay this catalyst in acidic or neutral condition so now what is expected here this is my starting material cyclohexanone this is my starting material okay what is the mechanism here what is the role of catalyst in hydrogenation yeah that is very important first of all what happens your reactants they get adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst right and then they react and then they will leave the surface so what is the role of the catalyst is to serve, provide the surface area and what is going to happen now this reactant is going to get adsorbed on the surface of catalyst so what is the demand of the reaction understand the demand of the reaction is your reactant should get adsorbed on the surface for the longer time okay so you tell me now this particular reactant has two sides this is its axial side and this is its equatorial side okay which side is uh, less crowded equatorial so if the reactant has to get adsorbed on the surface for the longer time from which side it will get adsorbed equatorial equatorial right to iska is reactant ka jo equatorial side hai yahan se wo ye surface pe adsorb hoga right so now tell me from where the hydride will come now rule is that it should be getting adsorbed on the surface from the equatorial side right ab isi surface pe tumhara dusra kaun sa reactant aa gaya hai hydrogen hydrogen bhi yahan pe adsorb hoga right so hydrogen will be transfer from the same side from where it is adsorbed to reactant ka kaun sa side adsorb hua hai equatorial to hydride bhi kahan se aayega ye wo usi side mein hai na to hydride will come on the equatorial side so where this oxygen will be transferred go to axial so when i'm going to end up with the product what will happen hydride will come from the equatorial side so oh will go at the which side axial side so this particular mechanism is giving me which product it is giving me 
actual product. Okay, going to give the explanation again. What I said, the role of the catalyst in catalytic hydrogenation is to provide that surface area. It is expected your reactant will be adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst for the longer time. So if I look at the my reactant, my reactant has two sides. One is the axial side, one is the equatorial side. Equatorial side is always considered as a more stable, less crowded side. And therefore, for the longer time adsorption, my reactant will get adsorbed on the surface from my equatorial side. The hydrogen is also reacting, so it will also get adsorbed on the surface. So hydride is going to come from the same side as on the side where the reactant is adsorbed. So hydride is going to transfer from equatorial side. So OH will migrate towards the axial side. Hence, this catalytic hydrogenation always give me formation of axial product as a major product. Okay. Now, when I'm talking about the neutral condition, Neutral condition ka demand ye hai that the product which is formed. Now, this is my catalytic surface. Okay. What is the demand of the uh, neutral medium? Is the product which is formed that will remain on the surface for the longer time. Okay. The product which is formed that will remain on the surface for the longer time. ओके okay, अब मुझे बताओ अब यहां पे न्यूट्रल कंडीशन में रिएक्टेंट तो तुम्हारा वही है रिएक्टेंट तो तुम्हारा वही है ठीक है बट यहां पे दो प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म हो सकते हैं आइदर एक्चुअल फॉर्म होगा और दूसरा कौन सा है इक्वेटोरियल अब तुम बताओ इन दोनों में से स्टेबल कौन है Good the product has to stay for a long yes. And then neutral condition, what it demands? It demands your product to be remember or remain on the surface for the longer time. So if it is demanding that it should remain on the surface for the longer time, of course, it is expecting that equatorial alcohol will be formed in this reaction. Okay, so what will happen? This See, mechanism to vaise hi jayega. Tumhara hydride transfer aise hoga. OH yaha pe ho jayega. But this neutral condition, this neutral condition will convert this into the equatorial. Isme convert hone ke liye zyada usko uh, energy nahi chahiye. This is thermodynamically your more stable product. Equatorial product is more stable product. So, so when I'm talking about this equatorial product, once it is formed, it will remain on the surface for the longer time because we are expecting the equatorial things remain on the surface for the longer time, right? Equatorial things remains on the surface for the longer time. Neutral condition ka demand kya hai ki product react, uh, sorry, catalyst ke come, uh, contact mein sabse zyada rehta hai. To agar product form hona hai, to kaun sa product form hoga? the equatorial alcohol will be formed as a major product in the case of neutral one. Why? Agar actually yaha pe form hoa, to kya hoga? Actually, is it stable? No. And it won't remain on the surface of the catalyst for the longer time. Therefore, acidic hydrogenation gives us the actual alcohol as a major product and neutral hydrogenation gives you equatorial alcohol as a major product. Dono ka reason alag hai. Acidic condition demands that your reactant should remain in the contact with the catalyst for the longer time. Whereas the neutral condition demands the reduction course or you, that reduction in, should ensure the longer contact of the alcohol with the catalyst surface. The next type of reagent that we are going to take, we are going to talk about hydride donors. Okay, hydride transfer. So hydride transfer mein hamare paas do hai. Ek hai tumhara NaBH4 or Al, Li, AlH4. Okay, so now for this study, I'm going to talk about two different concepts here. Sabse pehle, I'll take a simple example. Mm, let's see. T 
ठीक है ये वाला जो है ना ये अनहिंडर्ड है अनहिंडर्ड साइक्लो एक्सिन मैंने कोई भी यहाँ पे सब्सटीट्यूशन नहीं लिया है एंड दिस इज माई हिंडर्ड साइक्लो एक्सिन लेट इज डिस्कस बोध दी केसेस ओके सो नाउ देर आर टू थिंग्स अब ये रिएक्शन होगा कैसे दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस केस देर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज दिस रिएजेंट जो भी तुम्हारा हाइड्राइड डोनर है यहाँ पे दैट विल कम फ्रॉम द इक्वटोरियल साइड ओके लेट से ये बी एच फोर ही है एन ए बी एच फोर तो ये बी एच फोर वाला पार्ट है मैंने बी एच फोर कैसे लिखा देखो एक हाइड्राइड उसका यहाँ पे चला जाएगा और बी एच थ्री बचेगा ओके सो दिस बी एच फोर पार्ट ओके दैट विल कम फ्रॉम द इक्वटोरियल साइड एंड देन इफ इट विल कम फ्रॉम द इक्वटोरियल साइड दिस ऑक्सीजन विल माइग्रेट टूवर्ड्स एक्शल साइड ये भी बॉन्ड फॉर्म हो रहा है ना तो ऐसे दिखाती हूँ ठीक है तो ये ऐसे फॉर्म होगा ठीक है सो दिस इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी सेकेंड पॉसिबिलिटी क्या है इसका दिस हाइड्राइड डोनर विल कम फ्रॉम एक्शल साइड सो दैट दिस ओ एच विल माइग्रेट sorry oxygen will migrate towards the equatorial position so this is going to give me axial alcohol and this is going to give me equatorial alcohol okay so now you tell me in this case o oh, this bh3 approach from equatorial location or whether it is axial location agar maine isko compare kiya With respect to this, अब मैं इसको प्रेडिक कर रही हूँ यहाँ पे भी मैं सेम केस डिस्कस कर रही हूँ ये आ रहा है इक्वटोरियल से यहाँ पे सी एच थ्री है और ये ऐसे और सेकेंड केस So now think about it. अब ये कंपेयर करो इसमें बी एच थ्री जो भी हाइड्राइड डोनर या तुम्हारा कोई भी रिएजेंट है इट इज गोइंग टू अप्रोच योर रिएक्टेंट आइदर फ्रॉम द एक्शल साइड और वेदर इट इज फ्रॉम द इक्वटोरियल साइड यहाँ पे भी वही है आइदर फ्रॉम एक्शल और इक्वटोरियल साइड ना यू टेल मी फ्रॉम वेयर इट विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस द रिपल्शन या उसको रिएजेंट को डिफिकल्ट होने वाला है ये फर्स्ट केस में डिफिकल्ट होने वाला है या सेकेंड केस में डिफिकल्ट होने वाला है सेकेंड केस ओके फर्स्ट केस में रादर तुम देखोगे वेदर दिस हाइड्राइड विल कम फ्रॉम द इक्वेटोरियल पोजीशन और वेदर इट विल कम फ्रॉम द एक्शुअल पोजीशन इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू मेक एनी डिफरेंस क्योंकि यहाँ पे कौन है यहाँ पे प्रोटॉन्स ही है एंड प्रोटॉन्स इतना रिपल्शन नहीं देंगे जितना अगर कोई सब्सटीट्यूंट वहां पे होता लाइक मिथाइल ग्रुप और इथाइल ग्रुप राइट सो अप्रोच of this reagent from the axial side and equatorial side it is equally valid thoda sa hi difference hoga but wo itna energy difference bhi nahi hoga ki wo uh, hydride donor tumhare axial side se aa hi nahi sakta of course agar ye dono mein compare karoge to reagent ko kahan se approach karna easy hai equatorial se easy hai but agar bhale bhi wo axial se bhi aaya to bhi wo itna repulsion experience nahi karega because right now we are having this unhindered cyclohexyl okay we are not having any substitution so whether it is coming from the equatorial location or whether it is coming from the axial location it is not going to make any difference okay so now in this case if i look at the approach of the reagent it is equally valid from the equatorial location as well as axial location okay it is equally valid so now can you tell me if i'm talking about agar mujhe yahan pe product predict karna hai okay then transition state these are my transition state ye wala aur ye wala ye mera transition state hai 
if i look at the energy of the two transition state it is almost equal because whether this reagent is coming from this equatorial location or whether it is coming from this actual location it is not going to make any difference or it is not going to experience that uh, that much repulsion so dono ka approach in both the direction is same so energy level of these both transition state are almost same but look at my product once this alcohol is formed okay once this alcohol is formed you tell me which alcohol is more stable yahan pe do you are saying hydrogen bonding hai but equatorial alcohol is more stable is reaction ka jo result hai na yahan pe equatorial alcohol is formed as a major product compared to the actual alcohol okay ab ye kyu hua hai the reason behind this is a product stability yahan pe humne conclusion draw kiya on the basis of product डेवलपमेंट कंट्रोल यहाँ पे जो भी प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म हुआ जो भी प्रोडक्ट डेवलप हुआ ऑन दैट बेसिस वी हैव टेकन अ डिसीजन सो दिस स्ट्रैटेजी इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट कंट्रोल स्ट्रैटेजी वॉट इज दिस स्ट्रैटेजी सेट्स वेन द अप्रोच ऑफ रिएजेंट इज इक्वली पॉसिबल फ्रॉम द इक्वटोरियल एंड एक्शल लोकेशन देन the product which is formed major product or minor product is decided on the basis of the product stability okay and therefore this particular control is called as the product development control but wahi approach tum second case mein dekhoge is particular hindered case mein dekhoge ab hydride yahan pe equatorial se aa raha hai aur ye hydride yahan se axial se aa raha hai तो मुझे बताओ इन दोनों में हाइड्राइड को कहा से आना इजी है इक्वेटोरियल से आना इजी है राइट right? तो अगर इक्वेटोरियल से आना इजी है एक्शन से क्यों नहीं आएगा बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस थ्री डायरेक्शनल इंटरक्शन और राधर देन इंटरक्शन आई विल से रिपल्शन ओके आई विल से रिपल्शन इट इज गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस लॉट ऑफ रिपल्शन फ्रॉम दैट मिथाइल ग्रुप ओके हेंस द रिएजेंट कैन नॉट अप्रोच फ्रॉम द एक्शन लोकेशन तो ये होगा ही नहीं मतलब मुझे जो प्रोडक्ट मिलेगा वो कौन सा प्रोडक्ट होगा एक्शियल एल्कोहल सो दिस इज गिविंग मी एक्शियल एज अ मेजर प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस इज गिविंग मी इक्वटोरियल एज अ मेजर प्रोडक्ट सो ह्योर विच वॉज द डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर the approach the of reagent. reagent right so this is called as steric approach control this is p d c and this is s a c जनरली इट हैपन्स जब भी हम रिएजन के बारे में देखेंगे या प्रोडक्ट के बारे में सोचेंगे कि यहाँ पे एक्शल फॉर्म हुआ या इक्वेटोरियल फॉर्म होगा सबसे पहले ये चीज देखनी है वॉट इज दी स्टियरिक अप्रोच कंट्रोल वेदर इट इज रिएजन कैन इट अप्रोच फ्रॉम द इक्वेटोरियल साइड और कैन इट अप्रोच फ्रॉम द एक्शियल साइड वी नीड टू थिंक अबाउट फर्स्ट दैट फैक्टर सपोज इफ द टू अप्रोचेस आर विद इक्वल स्ट्रेंथ जैसे इस केस में दोनों अप्रोच इक्वली पॉसिबल थे इन दैट केस द मेजर एंड द माइनर प्रोडक्ट इज डिसाइडेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ओके एंड इफ द अप्रोच इज आर डिफरेंट ऑफकोर्स दैट अप्रोच विल डिसाइड विच प्रोडक्ट विल बी फॉर्म ओके बिकॉज इन दिस हाइड्राइड डोनर्स योर हाइड्राइड आर गोइंग टू अटैक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर मॉलिक्यूल So, उसका अटैक कैसे होता है ये डिसाइड करेगा कि प्रोडक्ट कौन सा फॉर्म होगा रिसेंटली ये जो दो टू टर्म्स है प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट कंट्रोल एंड दियरिक अप्रोच कंट्रोल दे हैव बीन रिप्लेस्ड बाय द न्यू टर्म्स सिर्फ इसके लिए अभी क्या यूज किया है पी एस सी सॉरी या पी एस सी दैट इज प्रोडक्ट स्टेबिलिटी कंट्रोल तो इन्होंने डायरेक्टली ये वर्ड ही ले लिया प्रोडक्ट स्टेबिलिटी कंट्रोल सो वी विल डिसाइड द प्रोडक्ट स्टेबिलिटी एंड विल से दिस इज माय मेजर प्रोडक्ट दिस इज माय माइनर प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज रिएजेंट अप्रोच इज इक्वली पॉसिबल एंड दिस स्टियरिक अप्रोच कंट्रोल इज नाउ रिप्लेस्ड बाय स्टियरिक स्ट्रेन अप्रोच और स्टियरिक स्ट्रेन कंट्रोल नाउ दिस इज कॉल्ड एस एस 
so steric strain control matlab see whether reagent can approach from which side whether it is bringing any kind of strain in the molecule or not is it fine in short there are two rules to decide the product either steric strain control or product stability control sabse pehla kaun sa rule apply karke dekhna hai steric strain control reagent ka approach dekho agar reagent ka approach equally possible hai then you have to use the second rule that is product stability control okay now we'll go for the third type of reagent humne kaun se kaun se padhe humne iske pehle padha ye catalytic hydrogenation and now we have studied the hydride donor and now i'll think i'll discuss about the third type of reagent jo humne discuss kiya tha dissolving metal reduction dissolving metal reduction matlab kya hai like sodium in ammonia everyone knows that the sodium loses electron in this reagent it becomes in cationic form and this ammonium solution is available with the electron so this is called as ammonicated electron solution theek hai to ab ye reaction mein exactly kya hota hai let us understand so let us start with our reagent this is my carbonyl group this is tertiary butyl group okay now i'm writing here the metal has lost its electron right this metal now this single electron transfer will take place metal is going to transfer its electron single electron to this carbon p orbital कार्बन का जो ऑर्बिटल है इसमें वो अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर करेगा सो व्हेन दिस मेटल विल लूज इट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन मेटल विल अक्वायर विच चार्ज इट विल अक्वायर पॉजिटिव चार्ज व्हेन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी ट्रांसफर दिस बॉन्ड विल बी ब्रोकन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल बी गिवन टू ऑक्सीजन ओके सो अब यहां पे क्या होगा एग्जैक्टली अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई सेड मेटल विल लूज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड इट विल बी गिवन टू द p ऑर्बिटल ऑफ दिस कार्बन okay this will become single bond oxygen oxygen will acquire negative charge and now metal will form a salt with it with the positive charge so there is a salt it is called as ketyl radical so ketyl radical is formed and if it, of course it is resonance stabilized ye resonance stabilized hai isme resonance possible hai to ye ketyl radical form hota hai and here 70% of unpaired electron density will be located on this carbon that means whatever electron is lost by the metal will be accepted by this carbon now this <coughs> this particular ion will undergo hydrolysis jab ye hydrolysis hoga yahan pe kya form hoga there will be formation of hydroxy and as soon as this hydroxy group will be formed remember hydroxy group will try to stabilize the system by changing the structure where see this will be arranged in the pyramid type of form to ye tumhara pyramid ho gaya so pyramidization will take place with this single electron because we know that there is a lone pair uh, tumne ammonia ka structure hybridization padha hoga so whenever there is a possibility of single electron free electron what happens structure gets pyramidized to yahan pe pyramidization has taken place okay now again this will collect one more electron from the another metal so let's say there is another metal this will also lose electron so this carbon will collect one more electron from that metal so when it will collect that another electron from the metal it will now have the lone pair so as soon as it will acquire the lone pair it will acquire negative charge wapas yahan pe ye oh hai aur tumhara metal jo hai now it is in positive state okay so this anion is formed here and finally this particular anion there will be faster protonation final step this will abstract the proton ab ye anion ban gaya to ye abstract karega proton ko and as soon as it will abstract the proton the proton will come here and this is giving me formation of which alcohol equatorial sorry it is giving me formation of equatorial alcohol so overall what is happening 
when the single electron is transferred it is transferred to the p orbital of the carbon the ketyl radical is formed this ketyl radical is resonance stabilized when it undergoes the hydrolysis the pyrimidization will take place and pyrimidization will bring this oh to the equatorial location Again, this p orbital will collect one more electron from the another metal to form this anion, and anion will be protonated to form corresponding alcohol. So, metal dissolving reagents are giving me formation of the equatorial alcohol because during this reaction, the pyrimidization takes place, and then OH will occupy the equatorial location. 